What if I told you the reason why Travis Scott's production sounds so hypnotizing is not because of sound design or samples from some of the best producers around the world? I mean, that would be a lie, to be honest, because that is true. But in addition to those things, one thing Travis Scott and his producers do is break the rules of music and then kind of put it back together. Let me show you what I mean. Houston Fornication is one of the best examples of this because 93.7% of rap songs are made in the minor scales, but this one uses notes that don't fit in it, yet still has that dark, eerie feeling. And that's because the melody is actually in the Phrygian scale. Having your chords or melody start off with notes that are one semitone apart is pivotal in having that dark feeling. And the reason why Phrygian mode is one of the darkest sounding modes is because many of the notes are flattened and or lower to semitone. The Phrygian scale to this day is one of the least common scales used in music. So replicating that, I have this chord progression right here. And if we use the formula that we just made, which is the Phrygian scale plus chords with one note apart, we can get a similar feeling. Another technique they use to hook the listeners is in the structure. The song starts off with the same high octave melody that we hear in the hook, then transitions into a lower register version with a sub bass underneath. Off rip, this takes the listener motion from high to low. So given that you already have a good melody and good sound design, which we'll get into later, this is how your structuring should look if you want a similar feel. Take this, pitching up an octave, ambient dotted eighth, We can keep the vocals here too. And the processing on these vocals are pretty simple. Bahala delay just with the standard time, put it on dual mode, and then an effect rack just moving everything left and right. And we're gonna have the low pitch version come in. And then remember, this is supposed to be the dark version. So now having all these pieces together, let's take a listen to what the sample sound like. That's crazy. Sound design is one of the most underrated aspects of music production. The sample for Houston Fornication sounds way more complicated than it actually looks. Here's an example of a melody that's really carried by the presets. This beat is so dirty, bro. Jesus Christ. One of the most important aspects of a sound that makes it interesting is modulation. It sounds like there's so much more going on than there actually is. That's called the God of War preset. We have a bass that comes in. And then to me, which is the star of this melody, is this simple but interestingly arpeggiated poly lead called Pray For Love. This is what makes this sample, in my opinion, so interesting. It starts off with this calm little melody. But then we play with the same idea, just moving it up an octave for the last two bars. From there, we take the same ideas, rehash them over again. For a higher energy part, reverse, pitch it up an octave. Take another lead, pitch it down an octave, reverse it. Ridiculous. Once you already have a couple of good ideas, you don't need anything else extra. I hope I inspired you to go make some fire shit. If you're interested in the Elysium Sound Bank, it's going to be down below in the description. And uh, I'm out of here.